what's the film you're watching? Right, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of everything. I watched Illinois' games from last year just to see, you know, um, coaches, Coach B's style, you know, things they did situational. And then as well, like you say, Coach Lenny's offense, of course, because this new offense coordinator, so I pay attention to that a lot. Yep. You said fresh start. What led you wanting a fresh start with a new school? You know, there was a lot of things that played out in Syracuse. Um, I, I appreciate my time there for sure. That's not something that I want to talk about, you know, over and over again, being that I'm at a new school, a new opportunity. So with being able to have this new opportunity, you know, me and Coach B hit it off early on and glad I chose Illinois. What do you think you learned from your time at Syracuse that can maybe help you here? Um, you know, tough situations. It built, they bring out the best in people and competition brings out the best in people and I wouldn't change anything that's happened. Tell me, why was this the right fit for you and what were you looking for through the process? Right, I was looking for someone who was going to shoot me straight black and white and you know, I was kind of the different thing, you know, because recruiting throughout high school is a little different than recruiting is now. You know, as a coach, you're recruiting someone who's a high school kid versus now Coach B was recruiting me who's you know, I graduated from Syracuse, you know, I'm a little older, I, I know what's going on, I'm able to make a decision, you know, 100% for myself, so that conversation was a little different as to how can you help this team and how can he help me and vice versa, and, you know, I think Coach B really sold me on this program. How did you handle this? Obviously, you made a coordinator change kind of in that window of which you committed. What was that like for you? Was it, I mean, what were those conversations that you handled? Right. Uh, Coach B kept me aware of the situation. He kept me in the loop with everything that was going on, which I appreciated. And I was comfortable with what Coach B was telling me. And then when I got here and met Coach Lunny, I loved everything that he had to say. Um, what did Coach Lunny say in particular that kind of gave you confidence that this was still the right place for you? Right. He really just gave me a rundown of the offense and what I was looking for. Um, I know a quarterback that he had at, uh, last year at his other school. And, you know, I had conversations with him as well. And everything that he said was good. And uh, I was just excited to be here. How do you kind of, I guess, view your, I know it's still early, but how do you kind of view your role in this offense and how do you kind of fit with kind of the rest of the, the weapons here? Right, I mean, they have a lot of weapons from the running backs to the O-line now, um, getting one back and receivers and what a good defense. I mean, they're just putting, you know, everybody in a good situation and trying to be the best teammate possible. What, what's different about this offense as far as terminology, combination of routes and all that kind of stuff? Right, it's different. At Syracuse, there was a lot of um, RPOs and really a lot of, uh, option routes where receivers can make decisions based off of defenses so it leaves a lot of gray in there you know not a lot of black and white not a lot of concepts so to being an offense like this where there is concepts and things are set in stone it helps the quarterback a lot tell me what's your what's your style when you're with the team and also like in the huddle are you like a really fired up guy or tell me how you are i'm just like this it's not talking to you guys. Yeah. yeah, I mean, don't get it twisted. Like, there's a lot of there's times where you need to be fired up, and there's times where you want to be mellow. Um, but it, there's, it's good to be a happy medium in the middle. What skill set uh, do you add to this offense? Here? Shoot, you tell me. If you watch film, I have. What do you think? Uh, arm talent. For it's, sure. Can you talk about that a little bit? Huh? Yeah, that's something um, I've been working on and trying to perfect since I was five years old. That's when I started working with my quarterback coach and. Uh, you know, it's something that was God-given. You know, I've always had a talented arm and something that I've just been fine-tuning, but I do have the ability to run as well. You know, I'm not a run-first guy, but I will get you a first down and get yards that are needed. Coach B said that you've been working with the receivers since you got here and that you've started to build a good rapport. What has that process been like? It's been fun, you know, learning, I'm, especially for them. You know, it's a new offense for them as well. So just getting on the same page terminology-wise and, you know, like I said, kind of like the weight room deal, seeing how people run, how they get out of breaks, because they're new for they're new for me and I'm new for them, so really just getting that chemistry down now is good, especially going into the spring ball. Something Coach B has talked about in the past since he got here was the importance of a quarterback being able to take control of the huddle and be a leader. Being the new guy, is it hard to balance learning but also trying to be a leader at the quarterback position? No, I think leadership just comes natural to a lot of people. I think it comes natural to me. It's not something that I have to try very hard to do. I think guys just gravitate to me because when I talk to them like I'm talking to you, like I look them dead in the eyes and what I say is what I mean and what I mean is what I say. So that's just, it's easy for me. Is there a process of finding your voice just in a room full of 100 new faces in, in that regard or no? Oh, no doubt. I mean, like I said before, when you're working out, you have to earn their respect. So for me, it's pushing myself every day, day in, day out, being the first one in the weight room, last one in, and just putting that trust in them. What is this leadership? Like, has this always been you? Did you develop it at Syracuse? Like, where does this come from? In I've always had it since I was young. Because, like I said, I've been training with a quarterback coach since I was five years old. So work is nothing new to me. You know, it's a part of me. So that just helps build everything around me. 
have you had an opportunity to, with this weather, you know, to get into the indoor facility and do some throwing with the whiteouts? Of course, yeah. No, I've 100% been indoors. I've definitely not been out there in the snow. I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'll be out there one day, but right now, for sure, I'm in the indoor. Uh, what, what's the rapport been like in the quarterback room? You're getting to know all the guys in there, and how, how receptive have they been to you? Very good. I mean, I've known Art for a long time. I'm not sure if any of you guys knew that. Like, we trained together when we were younger throughout middle school and high school with the, with the same quarterback coach. So I've known him for a long time and throughout the whole recruiting process in camp. So we've always had a um, chemistry and, you know, just he owed me a welcome arms and, you know, the rest of the guys in the room, you know, new faces. And they just, like I say, earning each other's trust even if we're in the same room. With Donovan coming too, do you have a little Jersey pride now in there? You no, know, we got three Jersey guys in the room. There's all that needs to be said. I mean, I don't know him very well. He's younger. Um, I've had a conversation with him. He seems like a great kid. I know his brother better, uh, Devin, who's at NC State, just because closer in age, you know, through the whole camp stuff. But um, I'm looking forward to meeting him and working with him. In the video that was released on social media, you made it clear that you're from North Jersey. You're not <laughs> just from Jersey. Why is it important to be from North Jersey? I wouldn't say it's important. I'm just saying it's important to state where exactly in New Jersey I'm from. That's like talking like my aunt, like in Florida, like you're from North Florida, you're from like South Florida. Like there's a big difference. Um, especially in some terminology stuff. Me and Art always catch each other going back and forth about the things that we call some other stuff, but it's fun. So what, are you, what are you doing academically here? I assume you're enrolled in a master's program. I am, yeah. I'm doing strategic brand management. Well, let's just talk about a fresh start. What do you want to show here in, I think, your last year, right? Correct. Yeah, what do you want to show here? That I can win football games and help teams win football games and you know, just leave everything on the table. What's a fresh start mean to you and the chance to come to a new conference? You know, like you said, it's a new conference. You know, it's a little bit of a different style of play, you know, Big Ten uh, compared to the ACC. So this is this is more what I'm used to as far as the high school that I came from and you know, running a pro-style system. Um, you know, this is this is very comfortable for me. You don't even have to change colors. A hundred percent. I think we and, we and a couple of guys were just talking about that before. It's funny, you know, same as that color that it was meant to be. How, uh, how did people back home and family and friends react when you said, I'm going to go to Triola Boy. What was the reaction? They were very happy. Um, you know, they were happy with the style of play that I was going to get into, like I just stated, because that's something that throughout my whole childhood, people have seen me play in similar offenses like that and seen what I can do in offenses like that. And so to know that Illinois has that, they were happy for me. When the games roll around, who will be here? Like, will it be where mom and daddy here every game? And how's that work? Oh, 100%. Yeah, my parents will be I would like to say every single game. My brother plays at uh, Salve Regina, which is a D3 school in Rhode Island. So, of course, they give him his fair share as well. But I'm sure they will be here for most of the time and trying to especially be at the bigger stadiums for sure when we're away. Is there one place in the Big Ten you're, you look forward to going to? I'm not going to lie. I was upset we're not going to Penn State anymore. You know, I was really football looking football forward to that one. Home, <laughs> just, right? just, yeah, exactly. Just because just that was very close to home for me. But, I mean, all the venues seem unreal. You know, there is not any – on the schedule that I've been to, so they're all going to be new to me, and it's all going to be a lot of fun. How excited are you for the opener as a, a week zero game against Wyoming? You know, what's your thought when you think about that, that game? How excited are you about that? I'm very excited. Honestly, I'm more excited for spring ball because that's coming quicker than that. So that'll that'll give me a little bit of, you know, just a little time before that first game. Because if I think about that first game now, I'll go crazy. So I just need to hold off a little bit, get through spring ball, and then we'll get rolling there. I know you're working with the receivers and other offensive players in the indoor, just running basic routes and everything, but what's the importance of a quarterback coming in and getting spring ball as, in your situation as a transfer? It, it means a lot, especially with the new offense coordinator that just came in, making sure that everything's down packed because when camp comes, you know, things happen very fast. You only have a month to situate and get everything together for that first game, and especially with us. I believe we have the first game college football, right? Am I right saying that? So it's going to come even faster. I believe it's the last week in August or whatever it is. So to be able to have spring ball and get that under your belt and get chemistry and familiarity with the offense helps a lot. Tom, is there a moment with Brett in the recruiting process that you kind of do like, okay, this is my guy, any one thing that stand out, stands out to you? Uh, I, our, the home visit was very good. Uh, he came and visited at home and got to meet my parents. And, you know, like, like I said, in the recruiting process, like I've been around a little while now. So... I can tell when someone's kind of just telling you one thing and meaning another and, you know, like I am with you right now, look me dead in the eyes and I had a conversation and I believe what he said and he liked what I said and I felt good about it. You're in the portal. How do you do that? 
I'm assuming you have to do a deep dive into the programs that are talking to you. How much research background is there? Did you do on Illinois to understand what you were getting into by committing? Right. So for me, you know, I happened earlier than a lot of other people. So as schools were contacting me, you know, I had a lot of time to watch a lot of games. So I would just kind of just watch the games as they were on the weekends. And um, so really just see the style of play through there because obviously I didn't have any access to film or anything like that. But you can go on YouTube and watch condensed games and really just get a feel for how the team is and how they look. And that's kind of how I went about it from team to team. Tom, is it true that during the process, like Brett kind of looked at your high school tape with you and said, hey, this is, this is going to be a fit you pretty well? <laughs> I don't know how you know that, but yes. Yes, we did at my home visit. Yes, we did look at some high school tape and kind of go through that aspect. Cause it was what was similar. that for you like on a comfort level of a guy saying, you know, I don't care what you've done before. This is why I want you and this is why we're, we, we would think you'd be a perfect fit here. Right. It means a lot because that means he did a lot of his homework, you know, especially to dig back that far. That was a long time ago. And, um, you know, it means a lot. It was that that hit deep for me. First time around when you were recruited out of high school, they don't know like Illinois. You're from them at all or not? Did Say that again? From, did you hear from them like as a high school guy? No, I did not know. Okay. No. This is my first time out in the Midwest. <laughs> it's different for sure. It's very <laughs> flat. It's very flat. I'm not used to that. I want more impressions. Cool. Tell me what else do you think? <laughs> what else do I think you about it? Yeah. How are the people here relative and back home? Oh, a lot nicer. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Everybody is nice. You know, in New Jersey or New York, if you fall down, they're not even going to look at you. They're just going to keep walking. Here, anytime I go somewhere, like, oh, do you need help with your bags? I'm like, yeah, that would be nice. Thank you. Like, it's just everyone's a lot nicer here, and I, I appreciate all the hospitality so far. Have you, chance, have you had a chance to get to your State Farm Center and watch the basketball team? Too? I did, yeah. I actually did when I was on a visit. I went, and then I went a couple weeks ago to, was it the Michigan game? Mm -hmm. I believe it was the Michigan game. Yeah, I went. That's a cool venue. What do you I think like. of the Illini fans? They're loud. I like the student section. I like how it's set up, how the student section's right there next to the uh, court and that whole deal. And, you know, it's built up so the sound echoes. I mean, is there some comfort in just kind of being a dude on this team and not being the local kid wanting to save a program kind of deal that you had before? You just kind of get to come in and just be another guy. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of people from the East Coast. Right. I'll say that. I mean, it's a couple of people like Art and a couple other guys, but I mean, it's just there's a different mentality and different way that we go about just promoting ourselves, um, you know, like not cocky, not arrogant, but like confident. And I think that a lot of people, you know, see that and they like that. So it works. How many comfortable sharing who else you were talking to while you were in the portal before you chose Illinois? Before I chose Illinois, um, I was talking to Oregon and that was really the other big one. And then after it kind of turned into LSU and a couple of schools like that. but. When I came on my visit, I knew what I was going to get into. So now I like doing it. Did you take other visits? I did not, no. Was the first one? Only one yep. needed, right? Only one all I saw I needed. Just for clarification purposes, were you talking with the new staffs at Oregon and LSU or the previous staff? No, the old staff, yeah. Well, the new staff at LSU, but the old staff at Oregon. Thank you. Did the OC change scare you at all, or did you did you understand, okay, this is a new guy, but the scheme's going to be what they told me. They didn't mind. No. <laughs> it's like, Scared, that's not that's not a mobile vocabulary. I did not use that word. But um, no, I was not, uh, you know, because as soon as it happened, Coach B kept me in the loop, and he told me how it was going to go down and what and who he was kind of thinking about bringing in and those styles. So as soon as all that was set in stone, you know, he called me, told me what it was. I did my homework on it, and I was good with it. So I did not flinch. And then I guess I know you knew Art. How much were you able to, I guess, talk to him or kind of lean on him during your process and ask him about Illinois? A good amount. Um, I try not to too much just because obviously he's here. Um, but I mean, when I came on my visit, I talked to him and I talked to him afterwards just about, you know, the culture here because he was at a school as well before and he transferred in. So he kind of had that feeling as to how it looks, you know, from a guy being somewhere and transferring in, especially in the quarterback position. So I got some good insight from him. Good? Not in your vocabulary? No. Never? Have no. Been? Why? I don't use that word. Really? Yeah, no, you don't need to use that word. Especially in the quarterback position, you can't. That's the S word. You can't. You don't use that. So how does it feel with? It's obviously a huge position on the field, but it's also the most known person usually and most scrutinized, you know, by media, by fans, and all that. How does that feel to have that on your shoulders coming here? That's how it always is. You know, when everything is going good, you're at the top, and when everything is not as great as everyone wants it, you'll get thrown right to the bottom. So. 
Like I said, you just need to have a calm mind and be have a happy medium in between it. Never too high, never too low. Always in the middle. How do you like this kind of stuff here? It's cool. It's yeah. good to see new faces. Yeah. Not the same old, you know what I mean, Syracuse questions where it's like, I know you, I've known you for five years, and you're asking me the same question. Like, it's good to have new faces and meet new people. Do you have a favorite quarterback, favorite, you know, somebody? Aaron Rodgers. That's oh it? God. That's it? Yes, 100%. Has been, has been for a long time for you? Definitely. Why? He's a baller. Like, everything he does, the way he throws, the way he goes about his business. I know he has some off-the-field stuff going on, whatever. He didn't get vaccinated, that whole deal. But I'm talking about on the field. On the field, he throws it from the pocket, outside the pocket. He makes the craziest throws. Everyone says Pat Mahomes' throws are the best, but if you look at the film, I'm telling you Aaron Rodgers is a bad man. I was very upset they lost that game. And which team? What team did you work for? I'm a Steelers fan. Steelers? Yep. That's a little... Why still, is that closest to where you are? Or not? Oh, it's close. No, it's not the closest. Like, the Giants and Jets right. Stadium is like 15 minutes from my house. But my dad was always a Steelers fan. I kind of got brought up into it and rolled with him ever since. You've said not cocky and arrogant, but confident. Where does that come from and why? You know, I really don't want to say this, but I feel like it's just like a New Jersey thing. I don't know if it's because of the weather and people are kind of just crabby and like that whole thing, but like... Football there, it gets very competitive, especially in the Big North, which is the division I played in. You know, you when you play in that division, you need to wear your big boy pants because there's a lot of those guys that are playing in college.